Q4 2021, are we headed for a bullish breakout for Bitcoin, in essence dragging up the rest of the altcoins to new all-time highs? In today's video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about that and also what to watch out for as well and how to make those crypto gains. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. Now, if you haven't done so, leave a like on this video and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. And so that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Now, being part of the Crypto Busy family, we also do giveaways. This is an opportunity for us to give back to you guys, the Crypto Busy community, the Crypto Busy family. And again, once we reach 200,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. It'll be a giveaway of a prize pool of $2,000 two people will win the share of that so a thousand dollars each and it'll be an altcoin of your choice it could be ethereum dogecoin it can be you trust xrp it can be anything you want it to be but it's again it's an opportunity for us to give back to you guys so share this message share this video with your friends and your family and tell them once we reach 200,000 subscribers we will be doing that as well it's just an amazing journey that you've helped us on as well and it's a debt we'll never be able to repay to you guys so it's really something we want to do for you guys as well anyway let's just jump straight into what's happening with Q4, with also what's happened with Q3 as well, the whole of 2021, it's been absolutely insane for Bitcoin, for crypto, for everything alike. I mean, we've seen the beginning of this year where Tesla said they were going to be announcing acceptance of Bitcoin, and then they dipped. They said, no, we're not going to be doing that anymore. Then we saw El Salvador adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, and we're seeing many other countries planning to do so as well very soon. So there's a lot of interesting, conflicting information that's out there, and I just think that we've seen a lot of bearish momentum i also think that the bears are exhausted at the moment because they think oh there's so much fud out there but there's actually a lot of good news that are out there for bitcoin and for crypto because again of the adoption the mass adoption for bitcoin as a legal tender and then on top of that as well as uh, seeing a bitcoin etf that'll be amazing to see so an exchange traded fund and that would mean institutions pouring in not billions but trillions of dollars into cryptocurrency and that will be an insane uh, you know move to see if we do see that but again if we look at the analytics if we look at the data for bitcoin for crypto q4 is looking quite spicy in a way so will bitcoin rally in q4 experts and analysts say so and so there's two people that announced this and two people that did some analysis on this one of the person is called lark davis um, he's a great guy and also another guy called michael and um, he's again on twitter and he also has a youtube channel as well um great information is on there and they're just talking about what's happening with the data with what's happening with the numbers for bitcoin so here are the bitcoin monthly returns hopefully you can all see that and the major one to look out for is really what's happening over the year for bitcoin's price so you can see here you know september has been a historically bearish month i'm just going to put myself over here september has been a, a you know historically bearish month for bitcoin whereas for october november and december look at that it's mainly green bar 2018 which was the bear market and also 2019 as well um but you know for 2015 2017 2016 all of those sort of areas and all of the sort of those months and years when there has been a bull cycle when there has been amazing returns for bitcoin i mean even 2013 as well november 2013 450 percent absolutely insane and we are currently in a bull cycle. So it's got all the all the signs are pointing towards Q4 of this year, looking very interesting for Bitcoin. And in essence, again, dragging up the altcoins to new all-time highs. This will be very interesting for not only Bitcoin, but also for crypto overall, because it will bring home the importance of what crypto is doing in this world. And I think it'll wake up a lot of people as well saying, okay, what are we doing here? What are we actually trying to do with Bitcoin? So October, November, and December are looking like very interesting months so far. September so far is in negative, uh, you know, seven percent. So that's interesting to see. But again, look at that. You know, 2020, you know, all green there as well. And then 2015, all the way up to 2017. Again, that whole bull cycle that we saw there with the last bull cycle, all green there, all green months. And so it is looking like October, November, and December. Now this could be you know, different. We could be seeing something different for Bitcoin's price, and um, you know, seeing a buck of the trend. But I think overall, it's looking fairly good, and it's looking fairly positive for Bitcoin because it's been, again, in my opinion, over exhausted for uh, the bears at the moment and I think the bulls are starting to get back into control again looking into the stock to flow model and also the average time as well for Bitcoin I mean I follow more of the the stock to flow model than the time um, because again it just sort of you know, takes in more data what's happening on chain for Bitcoin and this affects again the rest of the markets and they go into much further detail about the bull and the bear uh, going into everything else as well on top of the supply so again the supply and demand which is also really important so I'll leave this article linked down in the description below so you can check it yourselves in much further detail super interesting stuff there 
Again, the fear and, in, fear and greed index has been in the fear. Um, extreme fear yesterday, currently around sort of 27 for today, so still fear. Um, I think this will be updated fairly soon in the next 12 hours. So we could be seeing neutral again uh, for today, which means tomorrow, but extreme greed in the last month. And I think this will flip to green in October because again, all the analytics are pointing towards there. Are we in an alt season at the moment? I actually don't think we're in any season. I don't think we're in a Bitcoin season or an alt season at the moment. We just need to see a Bitcoin do its thing, get back into its season, which will in turn affect the rest of the altcoins and get that alt season up and running again fairly soon. So we're waiting for Bitcoin to do its thing. Um, again, we need to go out for some key levels. So I will go through some key levels later on in today's video and just you know cut them out for you and also go through some Ethereum technical analysis. It's doing fairly well today. Also, with Cardano, XRP going back to nearly a dollar. There has been announcements that they are uh, doing a, a partnership with the Bhutan uh, Central Bank, which is quite interesting to see. And we could be seeing further adoption of XRP and the Ripple Net across many different central banks across the world. And that'd be quite interesting to see. Solana, again, up 13%. Polkadot as well, up 10% today. So recovery in the markets today, that's good to see. And again, the, the top players today, certainly uh, the ones that are sticking out for me is Luna and also Cosmos. They've been doing really well up forty dollars so well done if you managed to catch that trade there for cosmos but again you know there will be days where there'll be corrections and dips so when you see things like this and you see it's all green and you're feeling happy take some profits off the table and and whatever you do with those profits it doesn't matter what you do with them it's because that means that you've made it solidified i mean you know, the thing is is that with bitcoin with crypto it's very sort of tech orientated, software based, and you don't really actually can, you can't really touch it like, you know, a mouse or a bottle, you know, you want to be able to take some profits off the table to crystallize it, to be able to, you know, go in and materialize it and put it into anything that you wanted to put it into, you know, whether you want to buy a house or whether you want to buy a car, you can do whatever you want with your profits. And that's the big thing. That's the major thing when it comes to, to profits at the end of the day. Let's go into some Bitcoin technical analysis it's been absolutely crazy i'm currently on the daily time frame i'll also be going on to the ethereum technical analysis fairly soon but let's just concentrate on bitcoin because it does affect the rest of the market so right now it did dip below 40k fairly recently but it just bounced off that and it wasn't even a close below 40k which is super important and also significant that bitcoin did not close below 40k because that means then um, the fear starts to strike into people and they think are we going to go down further than that but the fact that we just saw bitcoin dip below 40k but not close below 40k is very important and so again we saw that reflected in this bullish engulfing candle that you can see here on the 22nd of september which also happened to be my birthday and it's good to see you got some good price action here it went from 40k all the way up to 43 and we're seeing another retest of 44 and i think the next area of resistance in, in the immediate short term if we see a close above 44 500 and i think we're going to be seeing another retest for 46 and then from there a close above 46 would be another retest for 50 and that'd be another area of resistance so it's mainly just looking out where the key levels are and where they will close above or below so right now again are currently on the daily time frame we need to see bitcoin close above 44500 to see that bullish momentum to go to 46 if we don't see that confirmation on the technicals then we could be seeing bitcoin dip to around sort of 42 and retest 42 and maybe even test maybe even 40 from there as well if we see that rejection but that's just purely on the technicals for bitcoin we could be seeing something fundamental on the outside on the external i mean also today is the day where um, the evergrande situation in china could be situated and also sorted so you know that's also going on as well which is external to the crypto market but is also de facto affected by it so it's a bit annoying but it is what it is um so there's other effects as well but just looking for from pure technical standpoint we need to see bitcoin close above 44 500 and with ethereum as well close above 3k that's a major key level for ethereum and it will be affected by also what's happening with bitcoin's price so in my opinion, the likelihood of that all happening, because I've given you two scenarios here of is it going to close above, I think the likelihood right now of going into October is looking fairly likely for Bitcoin to close above 44500 by the end of this week. And what I mean by is by the end of Friday. So at the end of the Friday, the 24th of September, we could be seeing a close above 44500 and that would confirm the bullish momentum for going into next week which again goes into next month. So a lot of interesting stuff that's happening for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, and again, this will affect the rest of the market as well. Now, I also want to draw your attention to our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. It is through Patreon on Discord, so make sure that you have Discord. It is a great and fun and engaging community to be a part of. 
you will meet people that are like-minded and also want to trade cryptocurrency. You have coin calls every single month. So we do a lot of research behind the scenes of what coins could perform well over the month. You have different trade setups as well, fundamental and also technical analysis every single day. And the team on there will be able to help you out with any crypto questions that you may have. So there's also Fitso and Deerfall. they will be the two people that are on the uh, the Discord group every single day. And once in a while, Josh and I'll be on there answering your crypto questions as well. We also go through a webinar twice a month for the VIP coin calls and for the gold members, you get an extra webinar a month. So really cool stuff to be a part of. And it is absolutely exciting again to be a part of as well. So that is the crypto busy VIP coin calls. Now I also want to bring your attention to GMT, also known as go mining the gmt token is powered by a famous mining company um, called go mining and it is backed by real computing power which is really important it increases its price and allows users to get daily bitcoin income without buying equipment and spending electricity because it is a massive thing right now there's a lot of capex that you need to actually get involved in uh, bitcoin mining or even ethereum mining as well you actually need a, a full-on farm to do so you can't just do it on your laptop anymore you need to have you know a shed for load or even you know sometimes a full factory load of um, graphics cards and many other things to actually you know, mine Bitcoin. But this is a an entry level way of getting into Bitcoin mining and earning some income from that as well. So the computing power that Go Mining have um, is a fleet of devices and you can get different tokens on there. The token itself is an asset, so that is the GMT token. Um, the project is available in both ERC20 and also BEP20 networks and is this on quite a few exchanges. So one of them being um, Uniswap, also Shushi Swap as well, and many of the places, even Bit Global and Pancake Swaps. It's really cool to see. This is the Go Mining token. It's currently up uh, 3% today, which is quite nice. You can also read through their white paper. I've been doing so as well. Really interesting stuff that they go through in much of the detail in their white paper. And then also the team as well. It's a really interesting team. We worked closely with the team here. And it's also certified on Certic as well, which is also really good to see. It's also quite, um, you know, yeah. And provides that solidifying and also that transparency for uh, go mining which is really cool so you can now get um a double income within 30 days if you use our promo code busy underscore gmt we'll leave it all links down in the description below including the websites that i'm going through in this video um so it's a really cool thing to be a part of again on top of that it is you know an entry-level way of getting into mining cryptocurrency and you can say to people hey i'm actually mining cryptocurrency with go mining which is also really cool um, and it's backed by real world assets which is a really important thing as well because you see other cryptocurrencies out there that are not backed by real world assets they're just backed by themselves and it doesn't really make sense if that's the case so it's really good to see when it is actually backed by something um, physical that they can use uh, for liquidity there as well so again it's a quick start high liquidity which is also really important and um, we get double profitability which again you can use our promo code busy underscore gmt and on top of that really important you get daily income at um, you know noon I believe that's new, no, sorry, midnight at GMT every single day, which is really cool. So I'll leave all the websites linked down in the description below so you can check yourselves in much further detail. That is GMT Go Mining, that is the GMT token. Again, you can get it on Uniswap, BitGlobal, uh, and also PancakeSwap, SushiSwap as well. And again, our promo code all linked down in the description below. So I'm now going to go through my concluding thoughts and opinions on where this market is headed for the next few weeks and also months. Expect dips along the way. That's super important. And it's also really important to be aware of. When things are going up, when things are green, wait a bit. You know, that you know, there won't be, you know, no more days of red candles. There will be days of red candles. So, you know, if it's a green candle and you think you missed the boat, I wouldn't see that in that way. I would look for an opportunity when there's another dip. When you hear people say buy the dip, or even say it in other ways as well find ways and find opportunities to get involved in the cryptocurrency market because it's interesting to be a part of it's fun it's engaging it's new as well so you know, there's many other things that's out there um that is again it's fun about cryptocurrency so again none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but when i see opportunities like we did early this week i see it's an opportunity to buy the dip and that's what i did with cardano xrp and many others as well so gold investors are moving to cryptocurrencies like bitcoin and ethereum that is also super important to see because gold investors are going to be quite traditional and if they're looking and they're setting their sights towards cryptocurrency which is quite new they have you know, again a lot of money involved in gold so they can get involved in bitcoin and make some money as well on that one there. Bitcoin continues to recover, which is also really important and super cool. And on top of that, again, another article talking about the recovery for Bitcoin. Again, I'll leave that all links down in the description below. So this market is going to be very interesting. I think the next few weeks are going to be interesting to see what happens. I think there'll be another dip by the end of this month. And then probably in the beginning of the next month as well, beginning of October, we're seeing another dip. 
But from there as well, from October, from mid-October, really until the end of this year, we could be seeing an insane growth for Bitcoin. And I think 100k Bitcoin by the end of this year is still possible. It is still on the cards. And that, again, that will drag all of the altcoins up to new all-time highs. We could be seeing Ethereum go to 8k, for example. We could be seeing Cardano go to $7. We could be seeing XRP, you know, despite this lawsuit, go to new all-time highs, potentially even go to $5, and many other cryptocurrencies doing really well. So, you know, I think this year, and again, you know, Bitcoin and crypto is very, very cyclical. We could be seeing this happen as well. So do let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say and whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, Again, all comments are welcome here at Crypto Busy. Now, again, if you haven't done so already, also be sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. So do share this video with your friends, with your family, and tell them once we reach 200,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway of a prize pool of $2,000. And two people will win the share of that, so $1,000 each. And it'd be fun to be a part of really exciting stuff. Another thing as well is that we're getting involved in events very soon. So more details to be announced on that fairly soon as well. So that's it for me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.